Hello everyone, welcome to another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. We're using Photoshop CC 2017 and in this one I'm going to show you how to lighten and darken select parts of an image or select parts of your footage using the dodge and burn tools. Guys, let's get right into this. I have a stock image selected. It's just a nice background with a, a mountain and some green hills and stuff like that. And uh, the first thing we want to do before we start making any changes is we want to create a duplicate of this layer. Take this layer and drop it on the duplicate layer um, uh, button. <laughs> that way we have two layers. The second thing we want to do is we want to start with the dodge tool. The dodge tool brightens images. If you want to change the size of your brush, go right ahead. You can also change the hardness. Let's go with a, yeah, let's just go with a 60 pixel-ish brush and let's see what we got here. Now, these hills here, for example, and that's why we've chosen this picture, is it's, I'm going to brighten it up. I want this to be a little bit brighter on the hills, and then I'm going to darken the sky for some nice contrast. Also, it looks good for this type of tutorial, so let's just go and take a shot. Again, we have the dodge tool selected. Let's jump right in. You're going to see as I work here that I am brightening up the footage. Now, I'm just going to go really quickly here to show you how this goes, but as you can see here, yeah, we've got some brighter hills with just that much work, with just this only <laughs> just scrubbing this around here painting on the light we have completely changed the look of these hills in like 10 seconds let's take a look at the original i'm going to un um, check the eyeball here for the layer copy original new and of course you can keep going lighten this to your taste however you see fit just keep in mind that this works like a paintbrush so if you keep adding layers or you keep Adding on paint, it just gets brighter and brighter, as you can see here, until it just, well, it'll start to blow out at some point, and it'll be kind of ridiculous looking. But again, this is just for demonstration. The second tool I'm going to show you is the burn tool. This does selective darkening. Now, before I get cracking on this, the burn tool is a little bit more, there's more to it. First thing, the exposure is how much uh, darkening, basically, you, or exposure, really, but how much do you darken the image by? The default setting is 50%. That's usually way too much. Um, I prefer to go quite a bit lower, maybe 25, 30 at the most, because I would rather do two strokes than one stroke and get it wrong. Uh, also, you can darken the mid-tone shadows and highlights. We're gonna start with the mid-tones and let's just go ahead and darken up this sky just for demonstration purposes. As I scrub, you're gonna start to see it right away. Obviously, I've gone a little too far there with the darkening, but boom. We're darkening up the sky. Now, this is not something that I would hand in as finished work, don't get me wrong. But as you can see, this is how it works. You can go ahead and change it to shadows if you want. Let's see what that does. Whoa, way darker. Obviously, we don't want to do that. Command or Control Z uh, to undo. Command Z if you're on a Mac. Uh, but there you go. I mean, just with these two simple tools, you can do an amazing amount of image touch uppery. And that's a word. We've just added in some gray thunder clouds with like just a quick stroke or two here guys so anyways that's the dodge and burn tools i hope this tutorial tutorial helped you please stay stay in touch i'm gonna be posting another one shortly hope you enjoyed it thanks